okay. <laughs> uh, today I just was in a mood to film and I have been experiencing that if I have that feeling that I should go with it. Du, hello. Du, jag har precis lagt filten där. Nej. Nej. Ni. Now if you can see him, but he's there playing in the what's that call? Oh my god! On the furniture, let's say that. But yeah, so I got this feeling, and I thought, you know, what do I want to use? And I decided on this, my Pat McGrath palette. Because I want to see if I like it, and if I like it, I may buy some on Black Friday. Maybe. I don't know. But I have this one. This is called the Mothership Subversive La Vie en Rose. But probably not pronounced that, that but yeah. And you open it up kind of like clay -Dos, And it looks like that. Yeah. So there is one mat and it looks like there are two mm, satins maybe and three shimmers i think so we'll see if we can do something with only this palette that would be interesting and i i don't know when this is going up but god i still have a headache I have had a headache yesterday and I didn't take a pill because I don't want to do that but I still have it it didn't go away and it's not it's not a full-blown migraine but it is as close to a migraine that you can come without being you know bound to the bed <laughs> so I have pain here and here and I just want to sit like this um, but I thought, you know, let's record and then I can go to bed a bit again. Then I'm going out to visit my parents because my mom is coming home from Berlin. She has been to Berlin with um, her gang of girls. <laughs> uh, and she has bought some stuff for me from Primark that I want to try. Uh, and one of the things is a Disney villain palette. I'm so excited. So yeah, I want to have it. And then I'm also sending a lot of stuff to Marlin and Christine. And do I have something that I should send to you, Paulina? Except, yeah. I don't know. I have all the stuff I'm going to send in a bag, so... If you are expecting stuff, then it's there. Uh, yeah, let's see. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't want to be disappointed, but at the same time, I'm like, it's better for me not to be blown away. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to start with that shade. The only one that looks like a true matte is that one. And it looks like it's really powdery because I have swatched it, I can see. But we'll see if we can use it. Otherwise, I have to bring in another palette. Yeah, we'll see. It doesn't pick up. And it works. Yay. Satins are often better to use as mattes than shimmers. Because they are not that spectacular shimmers that we all expect nowadays. Oh, this really picked up nice, actually. So I guess it's going to be a pinky purple look. And I have have pain in my throat. I don't want to be sick. I rarely get sick like, you know, I rarely get colds or fevers or um, other sicknesses or illnesses. And I'm grateful because I have a lot of you know, migraines and um, I have some problems with my stomach and 
anxiety and so on. So I have enough with my chronic diseases than getting sick as well. So I'm very thankful that I rarely get sick. So when I do get sick, I'm like, no. And I don't feel that my anxiety gets higher as well. So I really hope this will go away. And I don't like to be away from work either. So these work really nice to have here actually that's good that's good let's take the dark purple that looks super powdery yeah why do we swatch it so unnecessary oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. There you got a lot. Oh no. Oh no. How about to do that again now? Just blending it out a bit there because I got too much on the brush. It's like, you know, when you swatch it, it moves around like if you press hard, you will get chunks out. Oh, it also feels like my voice is... <laughs> no. Why did I decide to film? But now I have started, so... I really want to lay in bed and watch because... Um, uh, my video with the festival palette just came up like 10 minutes ago and I started watching Marlin's video and I really want to finish it but at the same time I was like but I really want to film and like I said if I get that feeling I have to do that so when I have done filming this I will go to bed and watch Marlin and Linda's video and then I will finish watching Angelica's new makeup releases because I only got a bit in to that video as well oh god I really have a headache now Oof. know that you say that you want longer videos but I can feel that my eyesight is getting a bit worse and that usually is because of the migraine so I will have to try to speed this up Otherwise, I won't be able to finish before. Because I don't want to trigger the migraine. And I'm kind of doing that right now. The only thing when you use a satin in the crease. Like also kind of a shimmer. Is that it doesn't blend as well with a matte. As if you would have had two mattes. But this is pretty okay. And I'm going to take... Just because I want to try more shades, I'm going to take the purple lavender kind of shimmer satin and see if I can pick that up. Or will that be too dark? Maybe. Let's just take it a bit here. No, I think that will be too dark actually. Let's take the pink again. Blend it out. Doesn't look that dark in the pan, but obviously I wanted to use the duochrome on the lid. Yeah, I have the dishwasher on. I was like, what is that noise? Let's see if you are amazing. Not mind blown. It's not like when I use my UVS Place shimmers, but maybe this is not the palette to be blown away by. But it was the color story that interested me the most of the ones that are not 
a million dollars kind of but it's a nice duochrome pinky peach that is kind of cool it really does shift let's see know if you can see it it really does shift from peach to pink that's nice now I will like that but it's not like mind-blowing when I put it on Which side there? Because I really have to, you know, build it on. And maybe it's better. Should I try just to see? Because I don't like to put things on with my finger, but I just want to see. Because sometimes when you put on shimmers, and that happens with all shimmers. But sometimes they layer down like there is chunks. I don't like that. And this one has done that. Sometimes the UVS place does that as well. But you know when you look and you can see like. I don't know how to explain it. But like there are small chunks or whatever doesn't blend into like a smooth canvas that was not the one I took so it I don't think it was that much better with the eye the eye the finger so let's just build it on maybe I should have used the glitter glue well I don't want to take that now and it doesn't feel like super foil when you swatch it either. Let's see, does that feel different? No, they feel kind of dry. That the gold one, of course, feel. Oh, yeah. Those were more intense. Of course, the gold one. Because I can see it gripping on to the to the texture I didn't know I had on my lid. I don't know if I'm super critical now because I have a headache and because I'm I don't know. I like the duochrome but I don't like that I can see texture I didn't know I had on my lid. But maybe that's just me. Maybe it won't show up if you know. If I meet someone. Now I'm going to take. Let's take that lavender purple that looked lighter than it is. Let's see if I can pick it up with this brush. There is also like a satin. And I also actually want to have it here because I want it to have a better transition here. Like that. That looks good. Yeah. like I know I sound super critical now but it's also because it's really expensive it's like when I the Natasha the Nona one it's not like I am mind blown now I can't remember what I said in that video but I haven't used my palette since I did my video with it and that says something like 
that and I'm actually <laughs> I want to use the dark purple as well I'm going to take a bit of the bright purple just want to see Because it feels like some of the dark has gone away. Open up, please. That's the only annoy annoying thing, you know, it doesn't stay open. But that the Kaleidos palettes won't do that either. The only thing this is saying so far is that I won't spend full price on the bigger palettes. It's not a bad palette, but it's not mind blowing. And I have a lot of cheaper palettes that are mind blowing. And I'm going to take the gold because that's the only one I haven't tried. And now I hit my head. I'm going to take that in the inner corner. But you know, this is a first impression, and sometimes first impressions are not accurate. And I'm suspecting that this gold will be excellent, because it's swatched. Amazing, but you know, it's a gold, so it's nothing special. Too bad that it's that shade. But for purple shades, they perform great. There are a lot of purple shades out there that perform crap. Like, you know, the purple in the UVS Place Zulu palette. That is awful. Yeah, the gold one was excellent. Let's take some more of this pinky peach duochrome shit here. I think I'm going to leave it like this and do my base and I will be back now I'm back and I don't have anything in my waterline because I was so irritated in my eyes uh, yesterday so i just want to give them a break <laughs> but i have a mac lipstick actually on my lips it was a long time ago this is modesty um yeah you can see it on my lips but it looks like that and this is actually a thing that angelica nyquist made me buy because i watched it was such a long time ago was it like two three years ago uh must have been three years ago she made a video with all her MAC lipstick and this was her favorite and I didn't have any MAC lipstick so when I got out and bought one, I bought this. Now I have three, but <laughs> yeah, let's put it back. But I really like it, so I thought, why not? Um, so, this palette. Uh, my first impression is that there is absolutely nothing wrong with these shades and you know for being purples also purples are usually very hard to make and a lot of brands don't succeed at all. There were no problems with these but I'm not mind blown. I don't think it's worth more money than any other eyeshadows. Um, I don't feel the need to rush out and buy the the bigger palettes at full price. Um, now when I have watched myself a bit when I do my makeup, oh my eye, my eyes always tear up, up. <laughs> but I can really feel that the shade, now I just have to take some more and that is not the shade's fault, it's my eye's fault. But 
I really feel like this shade is very unique because it really has a shift that is very strong but so the shade I love the quality was like I don't know it's not the best shimmer it's not a bad shimmer please get me right <laughs> But it's not amazing. I didn't get wow when I used it. It's a pretty look. And I've seen I've not blended it very good here. And it's very nice. But I also think I made a look only with these. And I think most people would say that you can't do a, a one look with just this palette. Since there is kind of only one matte. But yeah. I didn't have a problem doing it, but that's also the only look, um, you know, you will have to have those as mattes and you can just change up the shimmers. But like I said, I like it. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it, but it's not amazing and I don't think it's worth the high price. That's just my first impression. Maybe I will change my mind, but that is my first impression. And I don't know the staying power. If I don't edit this video right now, maybe I can put in how it lasted. But I don't usually have a problem with eyeshadow lasting. So I have a very good primer. Yeah. So yeah, that was all for this video. Now I'm going off and watching Marlene and Linda and Angelica's videos. So please, no, that was not this video. Never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> uh, yeah.